When I was in college, I called my parents and I said, I'm getting headaches looking at the board and calculus. After I went through all the tests, my doctor told me that I had 2015 vision. I just didn't understand calculus. <laughs> <laughs> This is how to find the right glasses frames for your face. I'm with a man who knows. LA-based glasses designer Garrett Light. We also have a panel of extreme stylishness. To prove that you are in fact an expert, we're gonna play a little game. We're gonna have you find the right glasses for each of these guys' look, and then we're gonna see what they think of how you did. Let's do it. You ready for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do it then. It's like everything with style, the first thing you gotta do is know yourself. Have a look in the mirror. So the general rule is you wanna go the opposite of what your face shape is mm -hmm. to sort of distract from those features. Oval face shape people are in luck. Uh, for the most part, they'll be able to wear round frames, square frames, right. rectangular frames, oversized. You want it to fit just on the outside of your cheekbones, which define the area how wide or how narrow a frame should be. Right. Black's a strong color, for sure. I usually like a matte black because it doesn't have that like extra glossy pop to it. Right. A darker tortoise on lighter skin and a lighter tortoise on darker skin kind of works. Once again, again, that kind of opposite thing. Crystal is gonna be a little hard on fair skin. Is crystal like clear? Like a clear, clear? yeah. Okay. But there's like pink crystal and peach crystal, so right. like a pure, pure crystal would look the best on a fair skin if you really wanted a crystal frame. Balance is the best way to put it. Like if you're gonna right. get a thick frame, maybe do not such a bold color. I mean, I'm always a fan of thin glasses for comfortability, especially on optical. I can wear my glasses all day and it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing glasses. Right. I haven't bowed since middle school. You gotta kind of consider your whole outfit and style and when it comes to sunglasses, I look for something subtle. I chose these frames for Josh because I feel like he's got a nice original look and speaking to not wanting to take away from his outfit, I feel like his accessories from the earring to the necklace kind of help give him that pop so he doesn't need to go too crazy here. I've always found it really difficult to find glasses that fit my face. I have a couple of go-tos that I've been wearing for years. I chose a square matte black frame for Josh. Maybe it's my fault for associating sort of like a beach lifestyle with Josh, but I just feel like a nice square frame is something that suits that lifestyle. Occasionally I try to go big and then I look like an idiot, but I do it anyway. I look like an ant. So with Nick, he's like a bit of a chameleon, so he's really fun. I wanted to do optical because you're always seeing him in sun, so let's take a look at how we can get him in an optical frame. We tried a bunch on, they all looked really good on him, but not everybody can do this, and I wanted to pick this frame for that. It's just like a nice little round, delicate frame, but it just still looks maybe a little more like weird president. I chose the Van Buren frame. This is probably not a frame Josh is gonna be wearing like six months every day because it's a little more progressive, but I just felt like it'd be a nice addition to his collection, and it's still classic. It's got a G15 lens with like a really slight mirror and a tortoise uh, Windsor rim. And the lens is flat, like that's cool too, the flat base lens. I'm into the, I'm into the base lens. Yeah. And I understand calculus when I'm wearing them. He's just his own icon right here, man. <laughs> Thanks guys, man. <laughs> Gentlemen, if you have any questions for us or for Garrett, leave them in the comments, subscribe to the GQ YouTube channel, and we will see you next time. Thank you.